Hello everyone. Welcome to Rice Pot. Today is a special vlog as we will be recreating the famous Bahubali Thali from Ponnasami restaurant in Dubai. At 2 p.m., we headed to Ponnusami restaurant for lunch. We waited for 40 minutes for the tali to arrive. We were amazed at the variety of veg and non-veg dishes served. The tali is priced at 135 dirhams and includes two soups, eight appetizers, eight types of rice, three types of bread, eight gravies, over 10 side dishes, four drinks and two sweets. How amazing is that? Everything tasted super yummy. I love the chicken 65 and the paneer butter masala. It took us an hour to finish the tali. We were so full. As we were eating, my aunt did her best to make a mental note of the flavors and ingredients of each dish. It felt like we were a part of MasterChef. Then at around 4 p.m., we headed to Dubai Waterfront Market to shop for the ingredients. First, we went to the fish market. It's the best place to buy fresh fish at good prices. Look at the amazing varieties of fishes. We bought kingfish, netli fish and prawns to prepare the appetizers. Here, we gave the fishes for cleaning to save time at home. Next, we went to Lulu supermarket located on the second floor. The first thing we did was to give the chicken and mutton to the butcher for cleaning. Then, we headed to the vegetables and fruit section. We spent a lot of time browsing through this section so we don't forget any item. Then, we also picked up mango pickle, yogurt, cream, and other items. Finally, we headed home. The next day was the big day. We went to our aunt's house at 10 a.m. to prepare the Dubai's biggest tali. She had already set the kitchen counter with all the veggies, meat, fish, eggs, lentils and spices. First, we marinated the lentil fish with spices. Towards the end of the thali preparation, we fried it. We did the same with the kingfish. Mm -hmm. 
Then we roasted the whole spices for parpapodi. And grinded it to a fine powder. Next, we prepared the dough for naan. Chapati. And porota. As my aunt was preparing the dough, my sister cut the vegetables for the soup, fried rice and pulao. We then made mutton bone soup and veg soup. Next, my mom marinated the chicken pieces to fry it later. Then, it was time for the rice dishes. First, we tempered spices for curd rice and lemon rice. Next, we sautéed onions, tomatoes, and spices for the mutton and chicken biryani. It started to get tiring but we pushed through with all the remaining dishes. Simultaneously, we made prawn fry. Jeera rice, sambar. The whole house smelled amazing with the aroma of the spices. The time was 1 pm, but we still had so much left to do. Then we made mutton chukka. Veg pulao and veg fried rice. Then we boiled eggs, fried omelette, made egg porimas, more colombe, kara colombe. Plain fish gravy and paneer butter masala. Next, for the drinks, we didn't like the orange drink we were served, so instead I made lassi. It was so refreshing. Then we made Kobe Manchurian, Kute, and Chicken 65. Finally, we prepared the naan, chapati, and parota. We put the store-bought banana chips, gulab jamun, pickle and yogurt in smaller bowls. 
Due to the chaos in the kitchen, we couldn't film the preparation of some of the dishes that you can see here, such as appalam, onion raita, veg salad, rasam, pulao, and poriyal. Here is a close up of our very own Bahubali Thali. Alhamdulillah, we did it. It was a super exciting and fun experience. We hope you all enjoyed watching us take up this challenge as much as we love doing it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and comment below which recipe you would like us to share next. Like, share and subscribe. Bye!